Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. And we ended the last episode talking to the uh, Ancient Dragon, and then I was going to do some loose end stuff, so I just decided let's just do a loose ends video. So the first thing is that we became hollowed, or non human, I guess. I, don't, I guess. We're always human, we're not ever hollowed unless we're a zombie, and we're always undead, so I don't know what the actual uh, terminology should be, but... So yeah, we're gonna go visit um, this guy over here. And then we're going to light those torches and do all that stuff. But now that we're not uh, fully human, he will respond to us differently. Before, he was very nervous. Well, you're nicely hollowed, aren't you? Are you tormented by memories? Burdened by guilt? Nope. Now the question, are you ready for more? If you are, then we will. I am. This, this contains my power. Long ago, this naive vessel of mine set about devising new spells. The fool dreamt of bringing new forms of magic into the world. But instead, he created me. Mostly by chance, but he did a fine job, I must say. What he sought was strength, and so I decided to demonstrate. While my vessel slept, I'd find my mark and hunt him down. But my vessel did not approve, and so while I slept, he sealed the both of us away. Well... <laughs> I don't know if this is new content, but I certainly don't remember this. So he's implying Aldia created him and that he is kind of, he is transcendent of body. Uh, he calls his body his the vessel. And while my vessel slept, I sought out my mark. So if we freed this guy by pulling the thing over here, it would, uh, he would start invading us, which I guess is part of his character. Um, but yeah, he seemed to be very good at what he did, but he got trapped and he got trapped with some sort of magic too, because obviously his body is not what defined him. Interesting. No, I don't have anything against humans, but how is it that you go about defining good and evil? I'm only using what the gods gave me. How can that be so wrong? So what say you to a spot of murder on my behalf? Sure. If you don't, I'll leave this place and take more lives. Many more. That's not true. I couldn't give a fig either way, so... What's your choice? First of all, you're definitely bound here by magic, and you if you could have escaped, you would have, so that's BS. And two... I don't actually have to kill anyone to do your bidding, so I will say yes. Yes, I see how very kind of you. I want you to kill a merchant named Gilligan. A greedy, foul man. He won't be missed, I assure you. I believe that. Yes. Bring me a ladder miniature as proof. Hmm, okay. Is the only person who'd have such an odd knickknack. Ignore the fact that I have that odd knickknack on me right now. So yeah, I okay, I left and I came back and I killed Gilligan, and here's his <laughs> miniature. Fine work. This is my thanks. Take it. Ooh, more lore. Now let's discuss our next mark. Okay. I want you to kill one more. Perfect, I'll do it. 
Your target will be chaos. I really want to kill him. Who's drafting that map? How would you know about that? Oh, he probably is While psychic. I was trapped in here. He touched me, that maniac. I, I was some rare specimen. He wore a strange helm. Weird. Bring it back as proof. What was Kale doing here? Yes, I knew I could count on you. Perhaps this will slake my thirst. Ooh, slake. That's a nice word. I should use that more in life. So Kale talked about the fact that he came here, and he wasn't sure why, although all kind of undead are, are kind of drawn here, uh, mainly because of that woman, who may or may not be the Firekeeper, or the Emerald Herald, um, has br brought them here. But he kind of was like, what was I here for? Oh yeah, I'm trying to make a map. And so I'm trying to travel around and make the map. But it seems like that perhaps he was uh, here for another task. And I don't know if it matters, but he's from Mira, Lucatil, and Aslatil are both from Mira, and they all end up here. I don't know if that matters or anything, but um, that's that's quite interesting that Kale was here and touched not uh, this guy, who I didn't say his name. Okay, yeah, we killed Kale. <laughs> I work. This is my thanks. Take it. Don't now need let's that. Let's discuss our next mark. All right. I want you to kill one more. Your target is Felkin the Hexer. As proof, bring me that peculiar scepter of his. What do you say? Ah, uh, okay. I thought this used to be the Sunset Staff, but I think that's what Strayed has, so hopefully... Maybe I'll have to go and do something to get it. Yeah, I'll quote-unquote kill him. Yes, but he will be formidable. Be cautious. I want you to kill Phil. He has that sept. Okay, maybe we can just buy it from him. Um, so let's do that. Uh, no huntsman's cups. Otherwise, I technically don't mind killing him right now because, um, you know. We're going to kill every NPC anyway, and we can't actually talk to him. Yeah, we actually can't buy anything from him anymore. What are you doing? Yeah, this is probably... Stop it. How does he fight he us? Take control. Oh, he gets up. I should have kept him alive a little longer. But Sunset Staff. I thought we had that. Oh, you know what? Oh, damn it. It's probably just in our box. It's in our box, obviously. <laughs> like, I don't carry along that stuff with me. But don't we have... Oh, Staff of Wisdom. See, you used to be able to get the Sunset Staff in a chest outside of all this keep, but I I guess it's the Staff of Wisdom we got in one. And I don't know where you would get the Sunset Staff. It doesn't matter. Oops. Because I know we have everything else we need, so... I don't mind killing him. We're not doing a dark path. He can die. Also, I can... Uh, New Game Plus if I need to. Although, we can now go to, uh, I don't know his name, Oswald of Kareem, that guy in uh, Brightstone Cove, and now we have Sin, we could see if he says something. Alright, 
marked. I should have uh, maybe prepared before this. I did make a list finally of everything I need to do, so we're gonna try to check those <laughs> off. Fine work. This is my thanks. Take it. Now let's discuss. Okay, who do you want us to kill now? I'll kill anyone, I don't care. You could kill a dozen like that and it wouldn't matter. I want you to kill someone of import. Okay. I want you to kill the girl in Majula, known as the Muse. The Muse? They say that she is the last firekeeper. But they say a lot of things. That she's a gentle shepherd, lighting the way for you cursed fools. Nonsense. Once she is dead, I will have no regrets, and I will be content to remain here. The girl will have a peculiar feather. Bring it to me. Now go along. <laughs> Sure. So yeah, we have to give up our feather, which you know. But I'm, I'm, I don't need it. Yes, that's the feather. Good. Oh, that is very good. Your reward. Take it. Gives us lots of spells and stuff while we have to read those. What do you require? You've been good to me. Go on. Tell me what you need. Royal Sorcerer Navlon. So we know a lot about Navlon. Well, we don't know a lot, but we know some key things. That he uh, was a sorcerer. He invented a number of spells. And that he was considered heretical. Hence, <laughs> he's jailed because he dealt with the forbidden art of resurrection. He also says that he was killed, definitely killed with it in his village. And uh, yet here he is alive. But he also speaks about Aldia, potentially. Um, I think he was implying Aldia, because he's here in Aldia's keep, says that he created him, so he could also be that he, like Aldia brought him back, and that didn't actually have anything to do with it. But let's see what he's got. So he's got a bunch of uh, witches' stuff. Moon hat. Hat worn by astrologists in Melfia. Astrologists believe that magical powers can be obtained at moments of special heavenly alignment. Even the collective wisdom of the Melfian Magic Academy, uh, even the collective wisdom, cannot pull magic out of the sky, but the ideas of the astrologists led to the creation of new and very useful magic devices. So that's kind of interesting. These don't do have any special skills, but robe worn by Zoli, the witch, seducer of Alva, the wayfarer, who we learned about a little earlier. When Zoli, the witch, learned of Alva's dedication to Saint Soretta, she used all manner of tricks and deceit to ruin him. But in the end, she would spend her life with him, supporting his endeavors. The witch, as unloving as she was unloved, finally found illumination through her blighted existence. It's a Dark Souls love story between Alva, who was in love with Saint Soretta, uh, apparently, and was trying to cure Saint Soretta's disease that had no cure or whatever, and Zoli um, tried to ruin him during that process but as she followed him she ended up falling in love with him uh which is really interesting and we'll learn more about these people uh in dark souls 3 even but it's it's a little bit uh cute and he's got the thunder quartz ring about pyromancer glockin we know about him He's got a bunch of different great arrows. Yeah. Dragon charms. 
Crimson Water and Bonfire Aesthetics. Great Magic Weapon and Strong Magic Shield, which we've read before. Let's see what he has to say. These are for you. Chaos. Chaos set. Don't mind the specks of blood. Now I am at peace. I will sit here and watch the world turn. That's really interesting. <laughs> I wonder... Okay, so... I wonder, I've never really thought about like when the world resets or when the Age of Fire is extended or when it goes to dark. Like, what people like experience when that happens. But like... You know, like this kind of just talking about it in such a way of like saying, I want to watch the world turn from one to the next. Um, that may not be what he meant, but I, I just think it's kind of cool. Like, I'll see it turn from light to dark or whatever, or light to relight. Now I am it. Now okay. I, am it. I will see. Well, as you. Sure. Okay. So, um. Oh! And we keep our age. He just wanted us proof. I think in the original game you had to give him all that stuff. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. Um, well, now we can uh, read all the other stuff that he gave us. Okay. Chaos Hood. Hood worn by a Chaos Sorcerer. The man claims to have sealed himself away. But who's ever heard of sentient magic? It is no doubt difficult to judge the veracity of the man's words, but this hood certainly seems to possess an unusual power. I mean, I think that's just very, like... He calls himself Navlon now. Yeah. Did we get anything else? No. Uh, but he gave us a ring. Oh, do, do we read Northern Ritual Band? Okay. They're both the same. The spelling ring. Okay, so this is like the speckled stone plate ring. It, increase, it increases defense of everything. A protective ring set with gemstones of four different colors increases the wearer's resistance to magic, lightning, fire, and dark. The artistry required to attune the varying powers of four different stones within one ring could only be described as transcendental. There is only one sorcerer who could have done this, a man from the lost land of Olaphus. So, strayed, or is it that he's from Olaphus? I would accept either. Then we have Unleash Magic and Forbidden Sun. Boost magic within the body beyond even your own limits, but at a great cost to HP. The terrible deeds carried out in Aldia led to the unintentional birth of several shadowy things, all of them eerily malformed. We saw the malformed beasts and all that stuff, but also magic might be unformed. Malformed. Pyromancy developed in Aldean Rites. Creates a giant fireball with a widely encompassing explosion. What could possibly justify such excessive destructive power? In all likelihood, the madmen of Aldia never even questioned the need. So, <clears throat> Haldia had rites as well, like rituals, as if this was a little bit uh, mystical. Wait, what? What is that? Those are the ones that usually explode. I have to fight these guys again in order to...
Oh, is there no... Okay, never mind. I don't know where all of the sconces are. I'm just wandering around. But yeah, so I, I had to read up on it or whatever, but um, apparently the uh, sconces, like you light them and there's like, you know, uh, someone you have to fight, obviously. But um, then once you do all of that, then the, the dragon becomes alive this these bones and then that makes it so that you can um i guess we should uh and we have enough but we we'll just keep it lit but it makes this dragon uh that dragon come alive and then that gives you the key that i was looking for so yeah i guess we'll just So he's using the Scythe of Want, I believe. Wow. I don't know how to fight the Scythe of Want. I haven't played with it all that much. Come on. But I had this guy on the run, I should just continue with that. Oh, I prevented his attack. Just every time someone runs up to me, I feel like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna parry them because they're if they run up, they're definitely gonna. Oh, ooh, that was silly. Get out of here. That took way more uh, of my health than I thought it would. I was not... Not reading his uh, movements all that well. Alright. I don't know where all the sconces are, of course, so... Just gonna have to bear with me. here. Oops. So just the same guy. I hope at least it's different guys. Okay, good. What sort is that? Yeah, so anytime pe people sh uh, hit, like, swing twice, you can block the first one. Oh, and <laughs> they could also break your guard if they're smart enough, but usually NPCs aren't. But one, and then you can always hit the second one with a parry. also do it with a back step so if you don't have like if you don't have like a good defense shield you can step back oops I did it I timed it really poorly oh 
Oops, I did that so wrong anyway. Ooh, that was no damage. Come on, do your two. Oops. I don't know what sword that is. It's cool. That's broken, but it appears that that didn't make it. Can I light my torch on here? Okay. That guy is no longer there. I hope he's not wandering the halls. Okay. Same guy. Maybe. dodge like three times and it didn't dodge. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the uh So good on his part. So is there one in here? Okay. Breaks that wall. That's cool. Um, oh god, yeah, I should rest. I don't want them to release this guy, just in case I need to come back around here. Um, alright. Man. I hope I got all of them. Um, I mean, I know there's one right by the dragon. That's, I wanted to save that one for last. see oh 
the scythe guy. Ugh. My poise so bad. when I try to do, that's what happens. Okay, I'm done with pairing this guy. I can't do it. Perfect. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's read that. Key used in the mansion of Aldia. King Vendrick condemned his own elder brother to the mansion. They both sought the truth, but through different means, and their fervor meant the eventual withering of their familial ties. Aha! So, Aldia and Vendrick were brothers. And they were looking for the same thing, as I said, and that they had different methods of doing so, and that Vendor condemned his brother. It must be awkward, because it looks like Drang Lake uses all of his contraptions, like this one, for, for example. This just spits out uh, acid and stuff. It's interesting. So like, let's actually go in here. I don't know if there's like a ton of great lore stuff here. But I mean, we can see, ooh, a gargoyle. So I guess the gargoyles. I don't know what these are. Who is firing at me? It's really not the gargoyle. Oh, it's like one of the one of the guys. Come on, that should have uh That's probably a mimic. You can see the teeth. With the dusk herb. 
Dragon Acolyte Gloves. Gloves worn by Acolytes of Eldia. Several of the greatest minds converged in Eldia to weave strange new rituals, but rumors suggest that during the course of their work, their thoughts were not their own. These white gloves are designed to bear the brunt of the ritual sacrifices, gushing blood. So yeah, people were brought here and mind controlled. I guess it makes sense that, oh, there's... These are all mimics. Interesting. It's cool. Maybe you get the sunset staff in here. I didn't need to do this, and I did this completely out of order. Cracked red eye orb. Let's take a look at some of the stuff. So you can see they've made a couple of uh, weapons that were used to face us. They're cutting up bodies on a on a stretcher thing or whatever, on a table. They have this strange device. Don't know what that is. They have obviously a lot of cages for beings. Bonfire aesthetic. Oh god. Nice, nice attack. Well, the Dusker, yeah, those were not worth it. Um, and I guess we could fight this Gargoyle. Is that the same Gargoyle? It looks a little bit more garish. Whoa. Thank it. <laughs> nope. There are some that kind of. Oh, what's this? Oh, dear Lord. What did that do? Did that un did that release everything? That's cool. So if you wanted to fight like the malformed beasts, you can. There's also oh wow. guys dropped the Malforan Skull. They also used to drop the Bellkeeper's stuff, which never made sense to me. But he dropped something. This should have released the, um, the, uh, Mimics that were already op alive, and I'm really interested to see... Oh, three Twinkling. That's good. I'm really interested to see... Oh, wow, there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, can I come out? I just want you to, I want to get behind you. There we go. Now we can fight this guy. a mimic over there. Um, this thing's not hard to defeat from afar. 
Come on. I still have not leveled up my bow at all, so we're just dealing with the base. Alright, so I'm really interested to see if this mimic while alive will drop anything of note. Like, he wasn't, you know, a mimic as a... Okay, so he does drop something. Perhaps this shouldn't be called Loose Ends. Perhaps this should be called Aldi is Key 2. Black Witch's Staff. Alright. Ooh. It's, uh... What is that? Staff used by Lady of Witches, imbued with special magic, making it a catalyst for sorceries, miracles, and hexes. Wow, that's powerful. Lady of Apostles were adept at magic and wielded unique weapons, but were deemed blasphemous and, and slaughtered. Alright, let's, um... Let's see if we can get this guy over here. You know, it's interesting. I tried to shoot them when uh, when they were up there and they took no damage. So, oops, is that a, okay? That's the NPC fragment branch of your. Yeah, they're not dropping great stuff, but uh, it's still interesting. Um. And yeah, I guess that's it for this area. Um, now that we've explored it more thoroughly. Yeah, we saw one of these before. Like a stretcher bench. Hold them in place while you do something. Yeah. Cool. Well, it'll be a little shorter episode, but I think this will be good. And then we can do a, a Loose Ends episode next. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next episode.